Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming. You are welcome to my channel. On this channel we pray. On this channel we seek the mercy of the Lord. Whatever your situation may be, you will receive a speedy answer. Don't ever feel that the Lord does not answer prayers. The Lord does. He answers our prayers a lot. The Lord will answer your prayer. He will grant you your heart desire. All you need to do is to command. Because you have a power. We always feel that we don't have power. See, let me tell you the truth. As far as you are a creation of God, you have a power. You are a child of God. You can do anything. You can command signs and wonders to happen if you believe. So my dear brothers and sisters, today I'm going to show you a powerful sign to receive your blessing, to receive your protection. You will be protected from accidents, from every danger. You will escape danger. You will receive your miracle speedily if you know the psalm and if you read it every day. See, as a Christian, as a believer, when you wake up in the morning, you should read the psalm every morning before you go out so that you can attract favor. Favor will follow you. If you are a businessman, you will attract loss of blessing. If you are a businesswoman, you will attract loss of patronage. Customers will start locating you. Why will you leave your house every morning without reading a scripture? Why are you in a haste? Are you the one who gives customer? Or you think customers only come when you have a good product, when you know how to preach? If there is no power in your tongue, there is nothing you will say that they are going to listen to. So from today, if you want a change of situation, if you want your life to change, whenever you are going out in the morning, you want to attract favor, you want to attract miracle, you want to get a speedy answer, you are going to do this and do this very well. You are going to pray with this powerful psalm. This psalm is powerful. Read the psalm. Meditate upon the psalm. Understand the psalm and pray on it. Then you go out. You will attract favor. You will attract blessing. Your doors will be opened. See, many of us, we already know this psalm. Psalm 57. Psalm 57. But we don't know how to pray with the psalm and claim our miracle. So today, I'm going to show you how to use and read and pray with Psalm 57 to attract your blessing. Now get your Bible and let's start. Be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful because I come to you for safety. In the shadow of your wings, I find protection until the raging storm are over. You need the Lord's mercy. There is danger everywhere. As you are going out, there are many people, they go out and they come back dead. There are many people, they go out happily. They come back with one hand, accident. So as you are going out, tell God that it should be your safety. And you shall rest under the shadow of his wings. When you are under the shadow of the Lord's wings, you will never experience accident. You will never experience setback. When you are under his protection, your business will never be under demonic manipulation. And no raging storm shall come near your dwelling. I pray for you today. The Lord will protect you. I leave you and your family members under the shadow of the wings of the Lord. He will keep you safe. I call to you, God, the Most High. So God who supplies my every need, he will answer from heaven and save me. He will defeat my oppressors. God will show me his constant love and faithfulness. You call to the Lord and he is the one that supplies your need. When you tell God this every day, 
when you go out, you will always sell. The Lord will give you a lot to supply your need. When you are going for business, you have to read this and pray with this. The Lord will answer you from heaven. He will defeat your oppressors. All those who are holding your breakthrough, all those who are trying to stop your progress, the Lord will defeat them. As they are trying, they will be failing. As they are plotting back to sender, anything they do against you, it shall backfire to them. As you have told God that he supplies your need, he will always supply your need. You will never lack anything again. You will get all you ever desire. Now verse 4, I am surrounded by enemies who are like lions, hungry for human flesh. Their teeth are like spears and arrows. Their tongue are like sharp swords. Show your greatness in the sky, O God, and your glory over the earth. My enemies have spread a net to catch me. I am overcome with distress. They dug a pit in my path, but fell into it themselves. Every pit your enemy has dug for you, they will fall into that pit themselves. Everything they have done against you and your family, back to center to them in the name of Jesus. So as you are saying this, you are prophesying that every pit, everything they have done against you, it shall go back to them. Every net they have spread to catch you, you shall escape that net. It shall catch them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have complete confidence in you. Verse 7. I will sing and praise you. Wake up my soul. Wake up my heart and live. I will wake up the sun. I will thank you, O Lord, among the nations. I will praise you among the people. Your constant love reaches the heavens. Your faithfulness touches the sky. Show your greatness in the sky, O God, and your glory over all the earth. Read this. You are telling God that you have confidence in him. You believe he can do all things. Now, you are going to sing praises to the Lord. Worship him. One thing you should do after praying is for you to praise the Lord, to show that you believe that he can do it. Let me tell you, this is the secret. When you want something from your parents or even any other person, when you ask them for that request and you thank them, you begin to praise them. Even if they don't want to help you, they will help you. Mommy, I need this. Mommy, I need this. Mommy, I know that you can do it. Mommy, I thank you for helping me. Mommy, I thank you because you have always been there for me. You have never said no to me. Thank you for your help. When you tell your mother like that, when you speak to your friend like that, they will be pushed to help you. That is the secret. Thanking even without receiving. You are already thanking God for what you have not yet seen. Even if you have a problem, don't feel that the Lord has not been helping you. You are alive. You have your life. He is helpful. So when you pray to God like this, and you thank God for prayers being answered, you tell him that you have confidence in him. You tell him that you believe he can do it. He will do it. Just read the whole of this psalm and understand it. Meditate upon it and say this prayer. Lord God, I believe you can do it. You see that this psalm started with mercy because you know that your sin can hinder your prayers. Be merciful to me, Lord. So if you are starting your prayer, start with mercy. Have mercy upon me. Any area I might have sinned against you, forgive me. Protect me, Lord, from evil ones. Let me be under the shadow of your wings. Protect me from danger. Oh God, I believe in you. You are all who supply my need. I shall never lack anything with you. Lord God, I thank you. I know that you can do it. My enemies, they have laid a trap for me, but they will fall into it. Lord God, thank you. I know that you are the mighty God. You are the great God. Your faithfulness touches the sky. It's here in verse 10. Your constant love reaches the heaven. So after asking God your request, you thank him and praise him to get instant answer. So read this regularly. It will be a guide to you. Whenever you need something from God, you will receive your blessing. Pray with the psalm. Read the psalm. Understand the psalm, meditate upon the psalm, and your life will never remain the same again.